Hey guys, this is Judd Xavier here with another wristwatch overview. Uh, today I'm really proud to show this new Japanese domestic model, which I really, really adore. Uh, we, I just got it three days ago. It's uh, the Seiko Presage Sarx 045. And it's not in their uh, catalog. There's 2016-17 catalog. It's a newer timepiece. I could tell by the uh, 6R15D specification and its movement. It's just the, the, their latest timepiece. Um, and and what struck me about this watch, and 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 when I first wanted to uh, a a new Presage, the choices uh, were were uh, just <laughs> overwhelming. Uh, but what struck me about this one was the case size. It's at 39.5 millimeters and it's only 11.3 millimeters thick. And I guess because um, of the flat crystal. Oh gosh, hey guys, look at the dial. Um, I just want to just uh, forget everything I said and say, look at the dial. I saw the dial in pictures and it didn't do it do it justice. Knowing what Seiko does with dials, I gave them benefit of the doubt. And and they did not disappoint with this dial, and I knew I'd be um, uh, more than uh, mesmerized by the dial, or, or just pleasantly surprised of how the details and 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 how that dial plays with the light. It reminds me of how the Nautilus, the the Patek Philippe Nautilus, would shape the the hues of blue and actually turn it. Um, not just in a radial pattern, but in different splotches of blue and purple. And, and, and right here you can see a radial pattern along with the case playing with the light. Um, it's, it, it's this design language that the Japanese do so well with the Skyline GTR sports car. Comparing it to say um, a, a Porsche 911 uh, Carrera. How that kind of reminds me of an oyster perpetual case where it's rounded and 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 ang and and curved in the right area. This is angled in the right areas. Uh, this cabochon crown kind of reminds us of uh, the Cartier line of watches with their uh, stone in the middle of their crown. It's a really nice touch. Uh, but this watch, uh, it really literally shines. It 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 really plays with the light. Um, the beveled edges, the beveled case, and the uh, chamfered uh, band, the 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 lugs, uh, and and the sides of the case are angled in the right areas where um, it'll just um, play with the light in, in, in just the right ways. Um, so why don't we take this watch inside? Cash me inside. How about that? And We'll, we'll really admire this watch under different lighting conditions. So under the studio lights it gives us, gives us a better display of the dial. Under 4000 Kelvin lights uh, the, the dial really shines. So does the, the bracelet. Uh, and it's just too bad that some of these websites uh, that, that sell the watch uh, from Japan uh, do not really do the, the the dial, nor do they do, do they do the bracelet justice. Uh, it's 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 quite a, a a beautiful, actually stunning piece um, in person here. Uh, you you have a a dial that just uh, radiates and uh, different uh, shades of blue, uh, almost uh, going towards a purple. You have a bracelet here uh, that have chamfered um, bevels, um, and and as well as the the case that has uh, so uh, beveling in the right places. It almost uh, looks to me that it was it designed out of uh, the the Japanese car language of a of a GTR, a Nissan Skyline GTR, where it's angular and fast and and, and just sharp, um, and and it just uh, it just goes down all the way to the bracelet, and, and it's just so beautiful. How it uh, how it has that sportiness and sharpness to it, um, yeah. That bracelet uh, it it just picks up the light um, when it moves, and 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 so too does that that um, dial with the indices, the sharp uh, dolphin hands, the the dolphin hands, um, and the this this crown here is called a cabochon crown. 
this cabochon crown kind of reminds me of uh, a Cartier or uh, you know one of the uh, I mean a more more expensive timepieces around five to six thousand dollar range namely Cartier um, the front there also kind of reminds me of uh, Aquaterra and and the way it picks up the light and 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 bounces light um, it, it, it kind of if you if you turn it on its side it almost looks like uh, how the Patek Philippe Nautilus uh, bounces light off its off its dial now I have only seen it in person a Patek in um, in uh, Shreven company a, 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 a jewelry store um, but I, it did mesmerize me the same way this uh, is mesmerizing me <laughs> it's a it, it's it's just a beautiful pattern and and and, and that radial uh, effect uh, um, it, it, I just can't get over it how, how, how beautiful amazing it is and, uh, and 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 this watch just plays with the light as simple as just a three-hander with date um, that the light it, pl it plays with light um, it, it's, it's worth the price of entry here the premium uh, somewhat premium um, it is accessible uh, which is around five to seven hundred dollars uh, uh, price range it is very accessible uh, also the rotor I like how it has that gen uh, Geneva stripes and um, it it's um it's probably only decorating that it has it's a robust movement uh, uh, for a very sharp uh, versatile um, tool I wouldn't say dressy tooly type watch you know that that, that can be worn anywhere shorts t-shirt um, all the way to a suit tie um, and and it'll 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 fit well any, um, anywhere it's another versatile piece and that uh, cabochon crown again just really um, has a really beautiful uh, look to it uh, the winding mechanism is 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 ratchety it's zippy I like the feeling and 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 it's it's like a fidgety aspect of the watch that I like I, 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 it doesn't have a bezel for me to twist and turn but that cabochon crown that I twist and it has that ratchety sound um, it, 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 it's uh, just part of your daily routine is just to wind the watch um, so this watch is uh, getting uh, pretty it is pretty accurate um, the two days that I had it on, um, it's probably at most minus one and a half seconds a day and well within chronometer status here. So this robust movement that you see here, it, it's doing its job. And, and, and then right out, right out of the box, it's, it's, it's accurate the next day. I, and, and it's just a second, um, um, three days ago I got it. So it's about, uh, four seconds, um, slower. Um, then when I set it exactly uh, with my uh, phone and uh, yeah it's a it's it's really accurate and reliable um, and beautiful and shiny I like shiny things the 39.5 millimeter case fits really actually fits perfect on my wrist um, it's uh, 11.8 millimeters high and and it just has that low profile the angular lugs sloping down I uh, just just help it uh, just conform to the wrist oh I, I didn't mean to say 11.8 it's actually 11.3 millimeters high so I'm gonna focus on the loud ratchety crown let's take a listen here while I take it off and wind it it's uh, pretty loud and it's a lot better than biting your nails uh, you have something on your wrist you wear it all day fidget and wind and I love how the bracelet just snaps right into position here. Hear that? It's really solid. 
Nice signed crown. I mean, nice signed buckle. And listen, boom. A very, very nicely, nicely made bracelet here. So really happy to be able to present this timepiece here. Uh, and this is such a great value driven uh, wristwatch that really has that same appeal to me as some of uh, its uh, other other watches that are uh, many times its price range uh, it has some of those elements and 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 these elements we can totally appreciate at its price point so some of its flaws are are, are just hidden by its accessible price point um, and and really I couldn't think of anything major other than it being a fingerprint magnet but um, any polished watt wrist watch can be um, and it's a it's just a, a a wonderful piece I'm still in the honeymoon period with the bracelet and I don't think I would change it anytime soon but it would definitely look great in uh, leather uh, namely a crocodile or even a horween leather strap um, but uh, other than that I'm gonna enjoy this timepiece for quite a while I didn't have much expectations when I ordered it but when I received it I uh, I was blown away uh, so so yeah um, let's just say pictures on some of these websites do not do this watch justice uh, you will be overjoyed like I am upon receiving this um, if you like this video guys thank you for hanging out um, like and subscribe and I'll be sure to post more and uh, till next time, thank you.